Hi, this is Medicosis Perfectionalis. Let's talk about hepatopulmonary syndrome. In a previous video, we have talked about the triad of the hepatopulmonary syndrome. But now let's get more details and more pathophysiology. So, hepatopulmonary. A problem in the liver will lead to a problem in the pulmonary, i.e. lungs. Liver problem leading to lung problem through nitric oxide. But first, let's discuss the normal body response to hypoxia. Any tissue except the lung responds to hy hypoxia by vasodilatation, i.e. increasing the lumen of the blood vessel. And this makes sense. Why? Because now we will get more blood into the organ, which needs more blood. Now we have hypoxia or less oxygen in the blood. So this is the response in any organ except for the lungs. Why is the lung different? Because in the lung, Say we have a problem in this portion of the lung. They vasoconstrict, i.e. they narrow. And why is that? To save the blood for the good portions of the lungs that have normal physiology, that can normally handle the blood. So the normal physiologic response in the lungs to hypoxia is vasoconstriction. However, in hepatopulmonary syndrome, we cannot vasoconstrict in the lung. Why? Due to nitric oxide release from the liver. The liver is cirrhotic or suffer from portal hypertension, releases nitric oxide in the bloodstream, goes into the lung. These blood vessels so here is the alveoli and the blood vessel. The, the blood is really flowing quickly from the arterial end to the venous end. So there is no time for gas exchange. So it's a shunt. There is an arterial venous shunting and there is no time for gas exchange. This is called shunting. Perfusion is more than the ventilation. So this is shunting, which will lead to less oxygen going back to the heart, less oxygen in the blood, i.e. hypoxemia decrease in the PO2. So this hypoxemia, of course, will lead to hypoxia. And the response to hypoxia through the kidney, producing a hormone called EPO, is absolute erythrocytosis. So, now we have a symptom called platypnea, which will be discussed later in a different video. But for now, you got the idea behind hepatopulmonary syndrome. I cannot constrict the blood vessels in the lung as I normally do. So, there is arteriovenous shunting, hypoxemia, and hypoxia. So, it's a good idea to measure what? The oxygen saturation by pulse oximeter. Also, note that these patients with hepatopulmonary syndrome, they get priority in liver transplant. Because maybe if we waited so long, if we wait so long, it will be permanent and there will be no hope. They get priority. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you like the video, please subscribe. There are new videos coming on the way. So give it a like. See you next video.